hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial video and welcome back to call to arms get so fell ostfront so today i'm going to show you guys how to make a mini map for the maps that you guys have created you guys uh including myself have been searching the internet for good tutorials there are few tutorials on youtube but they are quite advanced uh, they are difficult to understand for most of the people including myself so I found the simplest way and decided to share this video with everyone and I hope the people who have been looking for a simple tutorial and those of you who are new to map making uh, want to make a mini map as well this will be the perfect tutorial for you and I would suggest you to comment to drop a like and to share this tutorial with your friends who need them so this tutorial is valid for Manafora Soul Squad 2 call to arms and call to arms gets of Ostfront I haven't tested this one on previous titles because previous titles I don't think anyone even make maps in the previous titles but I think this might be valid for Battle of Empires 1940-1918 all right so how to make a minimap it's very basic it's very simple it was always right under our noses so uh, this map uh, this is the Volga river map which I made last year did it does not have a minimap and uh, the best thing about call to arms and get so fell is that you can even enable minimaps in the editor but for Mena for Assault Squad 2, minimaps have to be enabled inside the actual uh, single player game. I haven't found the way to enable minimaps uh, in the editor. Alright, so as this is the latest game, so let's do tutorials in the latest game. So we're gonna add a minimap for this uh, map that I have made last year. So all we have to do is go to clip. This is the F2 mode and go to clip. And here you will see render minimap. This option is available in Assault Squad 2, in Call to Arms and in Call to Arms Gets of Ostfront. So this is the button. This is the key to make in to making the minimap. <laughs> Alright, so you don't have to like do anything here. The map is done. All you have to do is just click go. Done. Your minimap is done. Now I want to test it. Alright, exit. Now all you have to do is locate your Gates of L main folder. So this is the Gates of L main folder and this is the minimap render. It's a perfect render. I don't know why it turned out white. All right, let's use. Uh, all right, see, this is the mini map that we may just made by clicking that button. It's a perfect cutout. And it doesn't matter uh, where you set the set clip points. This is the actual mini map. All right. Now you guys must be thinking, where is the water? Now the thing is that um, I'm using the water system via the ocean mode in the F2 but I don't know why the water does not work when we click on render minimap. So for the water to appear we have to add water to this place manually. I don't know why the uh, ocean mode does not work here. But we have to manually add water here in order for the minimap to render the water. Alright, now I will show you how. Otherwise you guys will be wondering, Stormfuhrer did not show us how to add water. Because many of you guys even make D-Day maps or maps with bridges with big rivers. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Have patient. Alright, let's load up that Volga river map. So this is my first time making the Volga, but I have plans to make a better one. All right, so this is the uh, land. If you press two on keyboard, you will see the land. And this is the ocean section. And if we disable it, it will remove the water. 
all right now if you enable it it will again bring out the water so we're gonna manually add water in this so landscape water water river river big all right so so minus 20 but first zero then minus 20 because my water level is at minus 20 okay all right so now if we enable ocean that is one thing so yeah it's a perfect fit so now our water is enabled now all we have to do is go to render minimap again and click go all right exit so now you will see that the water is enabled here uh, remember uh, this my previous minimap for file was overwrite overwritten uh, with the new one so remember if you may create a minimap quickly change the name like um, minimap one all right so otherwise it will uh, overwrite the file previous file so this is the minimap with the water as you can see there is water below so this is how you create a minimap but remember the size of the file will be very big it's 19.8 megabytes so let's uh, do some edits to it um, my gets of L file wait a minute all right so yeah all right so minimap nice so now the file is 27 megabytes doesn't matter so we're gonna test it you guys will find a way to reduce the fast size of the file that's up to you so this is um, minimap here maybe because it's PNG file but if you convert it to JPG I think it will reduce the file size so file size that's up to you this is how we create a perfect minimap and call to arms and call to arms gets a fill uh, have the option to view minimaps in the editor so this is our mini map it's a clean cut <clears throat> see it's a very clean cut you don't have to like uh, screenshot the thing then use a editor or photo editor to cut the area outside it it's a very clean cut so this is how you do a mini map all right so it's simple as that uh, this uh, option can be found in Men of War Assault Squad 2 so people who are watching and mapping in Assault Squad 2 you can also do the same thing over there uh, call to arms also has the same thing so all you have to do is go to clip then render minimap press go then go outside the game in the game main folder you will see the render minimap file edit it with any photo editor or whatever with Photoshop you want and uh, uh, make it much more clear for everyone to watch then you are done so that's how you create a minimap and then all you have to do is enjoy all right so thank you guys for watching this tutorial remember give a like drop a comment and share this video with your friends for those who need it and I hope I I was very helpful on this one so after watching this video many of you guys will be thinking that oh it's that simple and I don't think a lot of you guys are still watching up to this point because you guys have found the key to making the minimap so yeah that's okay it doesn't matter if you watch the full video 
I'm just glad that I am able to help the community learn more and more about the gem editor by making more and more tutorials. So that's it for today and I'll see you guys on the next one.